I'm going to say one more thing. When I was younger, when I was your age, younger players, my coaches taught me, put the puck on the heel and then snap it off of the toe so that you can create that saucer technique. Even for wrist shots, we don't do that anymore. We put the puck instead on the toe of the blade, then we flex our stick and bring it to the heel and then we snap it back off the toe. Why? If I put the, the, uh, put the puck on the heel, the entire blade is flat on the ice. If I flex the hell out of my stick right now, I have, I have my stick activated, yes, it's turned on, but also I've got too much resistance as I sweep it. We want that sound, but we also want it to be a quick release. If I put just the toe on the, on the ice, I can still flex my stick, activate all of its capabilities, and the only thing touching the ice now is the toe, so I have a lot less resistance. Watch how the puck just kind of pops off the stick. Toe, heel toe.